Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are continuing our legacy challenge. I said I was gonna do mystical motherhood next, but I do need to do some more prepping for that because it's gonna be the last episode and I want to put all the rooms together so I could show you guys the museum. I want to make sure everyone has their correct outfits and I just want to make sure everything runs smoothly before I film it. So that'll probably be the video after this one. I'm so sorry. I hope you don't mind. I have been swamped lately, you guys. Like it's been crazy. In one of my classes, my teacher is making us do a project a day. You heard it. A day for 30 days. So I'm like dreading it. It's March 1st today. I uploaded my first one. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy, but I do have a little bit of time to film today because I don't- the, the only thing that's good about this project is that she's not requiring us to come to class this month, which is cool. So I have a little bit of time to film today because I would normally be in class right now. Anyway, enough about that. I'm very excited to get into this episode today. I'm very excited to see what Stella has because she is pregnant. And I'm just, I'm also very anxious to see if we're going to be able to pump out these 10 kids or the rest of the kids for the 10 kids in this generation, if we're going to be able to do it. I also worked on my legacy save file a little bit on Twitch. We placed some new families from the gallery and we also placed some new lots. So I'm excited for that. I don't have a Celsius today. I actually have something that I want to share with you guys on YouTube that I've been drinking a lot. Some of you already know, but this is called Alani New. It's a different uh, energy drink, but it's like in the same realm as Celsius because it's only 10 calories. It has no sugar. It's like it's a like high caffeine energy drink. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And the packaging is just gorgeous, isn't it? I ordered this flavor not knowing what it was going to taste like. And we did a taste test on Twitch and holy crap, it tastes just like Skittles. And Skittles are my favorite candy. So if you eat like a green and a yellow Skittle at the same time, or even like a yellow and a purple Skittle at the same time. That's what this energy drink tastes like. It's so good. It's so, so, so good. I uh, I have tried four other flavors of this Alani new brand. And uh, this one's definitely my favorite. I like this better than watermelon Celsius, which is crazy. I never thought this would happen. <laughs> but overall, I still like Celsius better. I like their flavors better. But yeah, I just wanted to share this with you guys because it's I've been drinking it so much. It's my favorite. I even got my mom hooked on them. Ah, I am, I am so excited to drink this right now. That's how much I like it. <laughs> so cheers to you, cheers to this video. I love you guys. And thanks again for being patient with me and my really strange upload schedule right now. I love you so much. Let's get into it. All right, you guys, here we are back on the legacy lot. Oh my gosh, look at Bruce. He now is the one who loves the swings. How cute is that? <laughs> It is 4 a.m., but the first thing that I wanted to do was have a look at the calendar because I need to refresh myself about everything that happened in the last episode because I don't remember. My memory is trash. We have a birthday today. It's Leslie's birthday, which is very exciting because we're going to be able to find out what she's going to be like as a person. It's also the talent showcase. So we're going to be going and uh, letting Charlie finally put his um, comedy skills to use and perform some of his comedy routines. We also have um, Marnie's birthday, which is our newest baby tomorrow. And then we got Winterfest and Zoe's birthday, but I'm gonna give her a potion of youth. You guys told me that you would rather her have a potion of youth as a young adult rather than an adult. And I looked it up. The young adult lifespan is the exact same as the adult lifespan. So it would make so much more sense if we were to give it to her as a young adult. So let's see. I think I'm just gonna give it to her on her birthday so that we can like fully maximize the amount. And yeah, so that's what we got going on today, y'all. I am, is, how many spots do we have in the house? We have one spot in the house. Stella is currently pregnant, right? Yes, she has her second trimester in 11 hours. And you guys were saying that um, just because Stella has the fertile trait, it won't work unless Charlie also has the fertile trait, which is very annoying. Charlie, who knows how long he's gonna live for? I don't know, we're probably gonna have to adopt some because, mm, well, okay. See, it's weird. I don't I don't know how it works. If Charlie dies, is does that mean that the generation's done? It does, right? Or does Stella count? I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out. I'm going to have to like read the rules or ask ask the creator of the challenge cuz I have no idea. 
Stella is now a gardener in case you guys missed it. A floral designer, I'm sorry. She is level five, so she needs to create a flower arrangement and get that gardening skill up. So I'm gonna get her to come out here and um, let's sell this and also let's do another one as well. Ren, can you super sell everything? Please. And uh, for Ren, what skill will we be working on for you? Piano, right? Yes, piano. And Ren is also an actress. She's a sitcom star, and, uh, level six. So hopefully we'll be able to max that too. Also, I cannot wait to redo this lot. It's gonna feel like a big old cleanse, you know? I just can't wait. And I think that for Zoe, that we're gonna go a more modern route. I love the farmy feel and quality of this lot right now, but I think that like doing a more modern take on it since we are, how many generations are we in? Sav, Max, Olive, Charlie, Zoe. Okay, so Zoe's our fifth gen. So we're halfway through, halfway through. 50 episodes, 50 episodes was the last one and we're halfway through. That's so funny, I didn't even plan that. I love it though, that's very good stuff. Oh, Stella, what's up, you have work? Definitely gonna get you to go. Um, what do you need to do though? Nothing, you're good, you're good. So hopefully you get a, pre a presentation today. A promotion today, my brain is off. Are you playing Sim Scuffle? No, you're playing Blick Block. Okay, you moved on to something new, which is fair. Um, Zoe, my love, you're doing your homework. Oh my gosh, what a good yes. bean you are. What a good bean you are. This is uh, Mr. Bruce aged up. We aged him up in the last one and he chose to be a master actor. So we have been working on his acting skill. He's currently level five, so I'm gonna get him to uh, keep on doing that, keep on practicing his acting. What does he wanna do for his aspiration? Become an adult. Okay, we can't get to work on his aspiration until he's an adult, which is kind of infuriating. No, no, Leslie, you leave the baby alone. I'm gonna get Charlie to, uh, to change the diaper. I want him to max his parenting skill. And Zoe, when, when do you have class next? You have three days left in your term. Okay, okay, hang on. Big pause. Let me just make sure I have everything under control. She needs to give her presentation, um, take her final exam, which is going to be on Monday. She needs to do homework for pretty much all of her classes. Wait, why do you have two presentations? No! Oh my gosh, I've only done one of the presentations. She has to give two. Crappy crap. Oh crap. Okay. I didn't realize that was a thing. I didn't know that 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 sims were required to do more than one presentation per per semester or whatever. Okay, well we're going to have to like <laughs> Excuse me. We're going to have to get to work on this then once you're done with your homework. Um Oh my gosh. I'm stressed. I'm stressed for you, Stella. I'm stressed about my school life and I'm stressed about your school life. All right, Ren, keep on practicing that piano as well. Leslie, what skills you got? Do you have anything maxed? You can max your social skill if you wanted, probably. Okay, let's wake up Charlie and just do some social on him before we age you up. Okay, so Bruce is practicing his acting. Stella's at work. Zoe's doing her presentation. Ren is practicing her piano. Bruce is, I mean, Charlie's helping um, Leslie with her social skill. Um, You don't have class for a few days, so you have plenty of time to do your homework and like make sure that this presentation is good enough. I'm also gonna give Charlie a makeover in this episode just to make him look a little bit more elderly because I know that I don't always do that and I definitely do want the Sims to represent their age um, as best as possible. So <laughs> I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Okay, she's almost level nine social. There you go, Bean. Oh my gosh, I swear this club boost stuff, it really does help. It really, really does. Bruce is really getting into this acting thing. Like, he's really into it. <laughs> I love him. I do. What, what happened? Oh my gosh, already? That was like two seconds. I bet we could get away with maxing something else. Motor. Okay, what do we need to do for motor? Video game? All right, let's see. I think we have a motor boost. Play... Oh my gosh, she could stream. 
Let's stream party frenzy and let's make sure that there's the, a club gathering going on right now. And let's make sure that we have a motor boost for kids. Oh, we don't, but we can get one. Is there a piano boost? There's a violin one. <gasps> piano, oh my God, yes. Okay, okay, we're out of points, but um, that's clutch. That is very clutch. All right, come on, Leslie, let's max that motor skill. Oh yeah, and Felix, Felix is gonna have his babies. <gasps> I mean, Kay is gonna have their babies. <laughs> ah, yay, Stella's been promoted. Oh my gosh. An additional $8 per hour, $650 violets, our blue flower ranging table. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud. I am so, so proud. Okay, Zoe, keep going on your uh, homework, please. Keep going. Why are you, why are you using that shower? You have a perfectly good shower over here. Oh my gosh, Charles has almost maxed his painting or his parenting skill. <gasps> oh my gosh. Let's keep, uh, let's have him do a bunch of stuff to the babe just so he can work on that a little bit. All right, Stella, what do you need to do? Gardening and flower arranging. Okay, let's get you out here. Do another arrangement, my love. Yes, Bruce, who's calling? Want to watch a movie with me, bro? I picked a good one. I'm sorry, but we're practicing our acting. We're grinding. We are very much grinding. Leslie's working on her motor. Zoe's doing her homework still. Fantastic. We're getting stuff done. We are getting stuff done. But I'm going to need Charlie to make a cake soon. I don't think we have one in the fridge. Let me check, though. Ew, moldy mac and cheesy. Get out of here. Um, there's a zombie cake. Has it been dug, it, dug into it all yet, though? <gasps> no, and it has candles. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. All right, Charlie. Well, let's get you to use the pot tea. And then, uh, let's also cook her something special besides the cake. Like another dessert on the side. Or maybe she really likes taco casserole. Or maybe she really likes spaghetti. Or maybe she really likes, um, I don't know. What's something super random that she can just be obsessed with? No, it's something that a kid would be like so obsessed with. French toast, fish and chips. Mm. Yeah, let's do taco casserole. I think that would be fun. Oh my gosh, Ren has an audition in an hour. Bruce is now level seven. Okay, Ren, um... Oh my gosh, Kaden is inviting us to the romance festival. No, dude, you are still with your wife. Please stop. So they want her to be confident. 7 p.m. Okay, hold up. How can we make you confident? Do you have like a confident potion or something? Oh, confident berry? Uh, guts berry. Okay, let's eat this. Eat guts berry. It should make her instantly confident, right? No longer a celebrity. Oh my God. It was like, that was like two days. This game needs to calm down. Eat the berry. Get confident. Beautiful. Okay, you're gonna kill this audition today, Ren. You're gonna kill it. I have no doubt in my mind. No doubt. Leslie, if you're gonna blow up the toilet, the least you can do is clean it, you know? Ren, go to your audition. Oh my God. You, you were really about to go to sleep instead of going to your audition? I need to keep an eye on you and make sure you go. <sighs> okay, she went. Sheesh. Did you make the taco casserole though? <gasps> Yay! Okay, it looks great. It's sparkling and everything. All right, it's time to celebrate Leslie. It's a shame that Ren's not gonna be here, but it is what it is. When you gotta work, you gotta work. All right, Leslie, it's time to get out my queen. Did you max that motor skill? You didn't. I wonder if we could like max it really quick because we have until 2 a.m. Let's see. Let's see how quickly it'll go up if I tell her to come out here and play on the 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 the, the monkey bars. Also, Charlie, do you mind cleaning out the spoiled food from the fridge? It's quite disgusting. It seems to be going up relatively fast. We're probably just gonna have to age her up like really late tonight. Yay! Yes! There is nothing better for a rising star than to play the dreamy doctor. Great work locking down this role, Ren. Very nice, very nice. Okay, it's not going up as fast as I would like. What about, what about playing basketball? Wait, we can, she can dream big? I didn't know kids could dream big. Oh my gosh, let's see if it has the same effect as the fitness skill for teens. Oh my gosh, please do.
Did it even do anything? I mean, kind of. It's going up fairly fast. I wonder what the quickest way to get a kid's motor skill up is. Oh my gosh, I kind of want her to be a professional athlete. There you go, level nine. Oh no, she's going through a mean streak. Ruh row. Dang it. This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. I don't want you to not max your skill and think we forgot your birthday. So come over here and make a wish. Let's age you up. Come on, everyone that's awake, come over and celebrate. She's so stinky. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried. Oh, you poor baby. You look awful. Oh, oh explicit. <laughs> All right, I'm not really sure how it works with adopted kids, but I'm just gonna do Charlie and Stella's traits in here because I don't know what else to do. So Char or Stella is, no, Charlie. Cheerful, geek, and lazy. And then Stella, clumsy, loves the outdoors. And creative. All right, and then her child trait is good. So, let's go ahead and find out what Leslie's gonna be all about as an adult. Here we go. I always get so nervous when I start scrolling for this. I swear. She got the geek trait, jungle explorer. Okay, that is so freaking rad, is it not? Oh my gosh, that geek trait goes strong, y'all. It goes so strong. Okay. All right, it makes sense that she would get this trait from Charlie since they are so close. And jungle explorer, not really sure where she got that from, but I'm kind of glad that she got like an outdoorsy aspiration. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, fantastic. Very, very good. Okay, she's wearing this like outfit. Can someone please take care of the child? What is even happening right now? Okay, yeah, this outfit's a bit risque. So let me just hop into cast and give her her makeover. And we'll also give Charlie her his elderly makeover as well. I'm not ready, but I think I wanna put some gray in his hair. I think that would be nice. All right, let's go ahead and do this first. Okay, Charlie, well, Let's take your wig off. Oh, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. I love his eyes too. They're the best. I kind of want to put these crow's feet on him. Yeah, look at that. He's looking older already. Okay, I think that's good. I actually don't mind this hair either. It's a little bit more mature. Uh Oh, look at this one. It's like his hair was. It's just like graying a bit. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. And then maybe we should, I don't know. Do the brows get lighter? Do they? I don't know. Oh, Charles. Okay, there's that outfit. And then for this one, I, I actually don't mind this, but I kind of want to change his pants to something a bit more, you know, old man. <laughs> I think just black, black pants look the best. He can wear those Nikes still. I don't see why not. I don't know, should we give him glasses? Like, should he be losing his eyesight perhaps? I actually kind of like him with glasses. Oh, okay, I'm sold. All right, Charles, you are all done. Here he is in his elder glory. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. You guys don't even know. All right, Miss Leslie, let's have a look at you, babes. There we go, a little less risque. All right, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. She's so gorgeous. Look at those eyes. Look at her little nose. Oh my gosh, oh, I love this hair. You guys know how I feel about this hair. I used it in my Not So Berry Challenge on um, Olivia Kim, Alice's daughter. It's just really, really, really good. It's by Enrique. I haven't used this hair yet either, and I love it in the brown swatch. I think it's really, really cute. Um, This is what she had when she was a uh, little babes. So if we give her this, I think we could probably like give her buns too, as like a different style. Hmm. Yeah, I think I am gonna do this. I think she looks really, really cute with this hair. So now we just need to figure out what kind of style she's gonna have. Oh no, oh no. So she's a good geek who wants to explore the jungle. Oh, 
um oh my gosh i love this so much i swear i'm gonna put it on like all my sims <laughs> maybe we can dress her like active wear maybe she's really into just being active so she wears like leggings and just like a comfy shirt all the time kind of like this just like very casual leggings comfy crew necks and just like some sneakers perhaps i don't i think she looks really cute i think we're gonna have to do that i don't know what color should she have light blue be her color i like to choose a color for every sim it's just fun and i think light blue looks really nice on her Maybe I should change the shoes. This this little sweater has a little bit of light blue in it, but maybe I should change the shoe she's wearing to the light blue swatch. Where are they? Here we go. Okay, yeah, let's do that. There's her active wear. Her sleep will be... I think I'm just going to put her in that full body. <laughs> I swear I use this for every single sim. I just love it. It's very cute, comfy, just the best. It's the best. Party wear... I don't know. I mean, like, what do teens wear, wear to parties? Honestly, that's nice. Okay. Uh, oh, she's already wearing blue for her swimsuit. Very good. <laughs> Hot weather. This is a really cute shirt, actually. Um, can I change the swatch, though? No? You're not going to let me? This is really cute. Oh, my gosh. I love her. I love her so much. <gasps> All right, cold weather, um, probably just jeans and maybe something like this. Does it come in light blue? Please come in light blue. There you go, Bean. I'm gonna give you one more everyday outfit just cause. All right, fantastic, Leslie. You are all done and you are just absolutely just chef's kiss beautiful. I really want to give her some like diamond studs though. I think, I'm pretty sure I have some. Mmm, there. Lovely. Just lovely. Okay, and then I asked you guys if I should change Zoe's hair or Stella's hair. And I was looking through the comments before I started and I didn't really see any comments about it. So I don't know. Maybe we should maybe we should give Stella a new hair. Because I really love Zoe's hair. And if we change it, we could always change it later. Maybe Stella since she's pregnant all the time i don't know maybe she just like wants to chop it all off perhaps okay i think i'm gonna go with this one i have always wanted to use this hair but i don't think i have and like i have a bunch of hairs that are kind of like the same length and style so we can play with hairstyles depending on her outfit a little bit but yeah, I did want to change her hair because a lot of you guys do get confused between her or get confused between her and Zoe because they look pretty much the same. I completely get it. And Stella has always had like platinum blonde hair. So I think, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay, it actually looks so cute with this hat. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love her. Okay, so these two outfits need to be changed. This could be the hair straightened. I think that looks really cute. All right, so there is Stella's new look. They are definitely looking more like parents now. <laughs> All right, let's get back into the game. Oh my gosh, I spent so much time in cast just now. You know when you like hyper focus on the screen and then you break focus and your eyes are just like burning and crying for help? Okay, so now what we need to do is prepare for Charlie's debut. Doing his comedy routine at the talent showcase. Uh, I don't remember where we need to go. All right, let me see. It says on the calendar where it is apparently. Wait, did we miss it? No. Oh my gosh, we missed the talent showcase because I I was too busy freaking trying to max Leslie's motor skill. Barnacles! That's all I wanted to do. I'm an idiot. I'm a big old idiot, y'all. I'm so sorry, Charlie. I ruined your last event as an elder. I'm a terrible sim mom, I swear. Zoe, my love, did you finish your homework? Oh, you did. Holy cannoli, I am so proud of you. Okay, well, instead of sleeping in the pool while it's freezing outside, why don't you come into your house over here and study for the gravity of general relativity. Whatever that is. Um, 
Yes, who's calling Stella? Colton Beckman? Who's Colton Beckman? I don't know, but we were like pretty good friends with him. I have no idea where we know him from, but rest in peace, Colton. Big ol' rest in peace to you. What is wrong with you? All right, she's studying. Leslie is asleep. Bruce is asleep. Ren is asleep. Zoe's studying. And Stella is... What, how's your mood? You just need some fun. Okay, what do you want to do for fun? Let's have a, let's have a, a nice night to yourself then. I was going to say let's have a glass of wine, but you're pregnant. So no, but the baby's crying. Never mind. Okay. Feed it. Let's let's watch. Uh, hmm, what kind of movie would you want to watch? Let's watch The Clumsy Sisters. Why not? Just turn that off. It's been on for like days. I swear. <laughs> Stella, you are rocking that new hair. You look fantastic. Oh yeah, she looks good. Yeah, girl. Have a nice night in. You never get a moment to yourself, do you? It's such a big house. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. She has a talent point. Let's spend that. Uh, oh yeah, we were working on this branch now. I don't. Do we need any of this stuff? Magical discounts, tame the untamable, mischief master. Now let's get frugal combination. Oh my gosh, we just need three more. Oh, and this one, but I'm gonna ignore these three. Oh, it looks like Charlie's up. What are you doing, sir? Cleaning, okay. You gotta use the bathroom as well. What time is it? 6 a.m.? Why don't you serve? Is it, oh my gosh, it's 6 a.m. on a Sunday. Yeah, let's have French toast. Make French toast for everyone, Charles. Please put that max cooking skill to good use, sir. I am very upset with myself for missing the talent showcase. Too many things going on at once. How many aspiration points do you have? 7,000? Seven thousand aspiration points. Holy cannoli. I wish there was one that like made your life longer. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do with his points. I'm looking at the realm of magic updates for the legacy challenge rules. It says potion of immortality cannot be used. Potion of rejuvenation may be used once per sim. I don't know what potion of rejuvenation is, but I'm gonna look right now. I am very curious. Potion of rejuvenation, potion of rejuvenation. Let me have a look, let me have a look, let me have a look. Where would I look for that? Where would I look for that? Ah, yes, a spell book, okay. Potions, um, let's see here. A potion to allow a sim to remain at their current age. Okay, I don't understand what that does. Oh, okay, so potion of rejuvenation resets their current age. So it's like a potion of youth. Oh my gosh, potion of immortality. It's exactly what it sounds like. You'll never die. Holy cannoli. <gasps> Prompt resurrection, a sim that drinks this potion will revive immediately if they die. Well, that's some nice insurance. Holy crap. I wonder what would happen if we gave Charlie the potion of rejuvenation. Wait, so does that mean we can do potion of rejuvenation and potion of youth? Dang it, I wish I would have known that before we aged up Charlie because then we could have freaking gave it to him in his adulthood. Okay, so we need valerian root, alabaster, and lemon. Okay. I'm guessing I buy that at the, the realm of magic place. Why can't I speak? Wait, what do we got today, though? <gasps> we can age up uh, Marnie. Oh, my gosh. Yes. I kind of want to do that now. Wait, who has work today? There's so much going on. Okay. The only person that has work is Stella at 8 from 8 to 3. Okay. Charlie has that French toast coming along. I would like Stella to have some before she has to go. Oh, he's thinking about Luna. Aw. Yeah, boy. Cook that French toast for everybody. Aw, Charles. I'm gonna miss him so much. Let's also brew some uh, some coffee too. It's my favorite holiday and you know you I wanna spend it with us, Charlie. You know you wanna spend it with us. Wait, what holiday is it? 
the Starlight Accolades. All right, let's uh, call to meal. Yes, you are gonna go to work today. He already served you some French toast, Stella, so come over here and eat some. Zoe has been up studying all night, so come and grab a serving. French toast, come get it, guys. It's 8 a.m., time to wake up. Bruce, time to wake up. Leslie, time to wake up. Come grab some food. Let's eat. Sunday, it's a Sunday. It's a Sunday, isn't it? Good morning, Ren. Please don't eat the French toast. I know it smells delicious, but you're gonna get sick. Why don't you have a plasma pack instead? Good morning, Leslie. Queen Leslie, I bow to you. Oh no, Charlie, you need to calm down. Oh my gosh, he's hysterical. Um, try to calm down, please. Oh God. Feed your baby as well. That, okay, good, he came, he calmed down. Whew. Charlie already died from being hysterical once, and I'm just not trying to have that happen again. You know? Um. Oh, poor, poor baby. I'm gonna get her to have a potion of plentiful needs because she looks shot. Aw, Charlie, he fell asleep taking care of the baby. Okay, Stella, make sure you're working hard. Promote restock sale. Oh, you know change the diapy. I think we're gonna wait until St until Stella gets home to age her up. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed their French toast this morning. Let's go ahead and put this away. Oh my gosh, you guys. Aww. Aww. So cute. <laughs> I wonder if this baby's gonna have a strong bloodline. Ooh, I'm very excited to find out. Stella's almost home, so we're gonna be able to um, age up Marnie right now. Give her her little makeover. I decided for Leslie that we're gonna max her video gaming skill because she is a geek and she has level three video gaming already. So I think we're gonna do video gaming and logic for her. Uh, and probably something else too. I don't know, we're gonna have to think of like some kind of like unique hobby she can have. So come over here, let's age up the baby. Give her her makeover. What are you so excited about? Oh, the club gathering, that's what's up. Actually, before we do that, let me make sure that there's a video gaming boost. Ooh, look at all those club points. Uh, maybe she could be a DJ. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Oh, here we go. Video gaming boost, yes, please. Might as well do a charisma boost. They're always working on their charisma. Let's do a robotics boost because that would help Zoe a bit. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's get the stronger focus club vibe as well. Ooh, your sim will also start with higher relationship when they first meet others. Okay, let's grab that too. Okay, fantastic. So many boosts, I love to see it. All right, let's age up the baby, Stella. Oh, where'd it go? Where's the baby? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Marnie, 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 Marnie. Oh my gosh. She's dark skin with blonde hair. Oh, I think we should run with that. Yes, independent. Oh my gosh. Things just keep getting better and better and better and better. Okay. All right. Let's have a look at you, little baby. Oh my gosh. What? She doesn't look like anyone in the family. And she has pink eyes. Where did those even come from? Holy cannoli. Okay. All right. Let's take off all this nonsense. She has a bunch of freckles, which is really cute. I kind of want to keep that. Should we keep her blonde? I don't know. Should we keep her blonde? I think that would be kind of cool. It would be like a very, very awesome mixture of Charlie and Stella. I don't know who this child's dad is, but she looks nothing like Charlie and she doesn't really look anything like Stella either. How weird is that? I kind of feel like her skin tone is like, it's a little red. I do want to like keep the same tone, but I think that it should be more on like along the lines of Charlie and Bruce down here. So let me see. Let me see if I could find one that makes a little bit more sense. I'm very tempted to keep her blonde. I know it's rare to have such dark skin with like blonde hair, but I don't know. I think this is like a good opportunity to like do it. All right, this is the outfit that I chose for her. I just need to give her a quick sleepy time outfit and uh, yeah, hot weather and cold weather too. 
Alrighty, here is her cold weather, here is her hot weather, here is her sleep, and her every day. I hope that you guys like her, I know I do, I think she is so cute. She's like a good combo of Charlie and Stella, I love it. Okay, I'm so ready for Stella to have another baby. She's not gonna have twins unfortunately because there's no room in the house. I wonder what the rules are about moving Sims out early. As much as I love Bruce, I would love to be able to move him out when he maxes his acting skill. Because we can't work on his aspiration anyway, so it's kind of pointless having him in the house. Even though I love him with all my heart. Oh, you may move out Sims besides the heir at any time. When you do this, they cease to be allowed to earn you points. Any points they have earned... Any points they have earned thus far can be kept, and you may do things like spend all their aspiration points for youth potions, for points, but once they are out of the house, they cease to earn points. Okay. So we can move out Bruce once he maxes his acting skill. Hmm. It really sucks. Trust, I know, but like, I feel like it might be necessary for this generation. Aww. Look at her little vans, they're all boat shoes. So cute. Oh my gosh, look at baby. I think, is that Luna? I think that might be, no, that's Zoe. Oh my gosh. Cute. Oh, we need to take more pictures. Hi, sir, what you got? What are you doing here, sir? Why are you here? Okay, Ren, um, let's just ask him about his day. I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. I'm nervous to like make them do things together, but whatever. Oh no, Marnie needs a room now. Uh, I guess it'll just be Luna's room. It's gonna have to be because I don't know where else to put her. So let's quickly do that. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna redo the entire room. I'm just gonna put a toddler bed in here. I'm gonna put a potty in here. Um, Yeah, just because I don't want to waste- oh my god, we're almost at two million dollars. I don't want to waste a lot of time on in building and stuff. I want to like make some progress in this game. Because <laughs> let's be real, we haven't really. And it's kind of- it's mo it's definitely my fault, but still. I just- I want to make some progress. Okay, hopefully that's usable. Um, let's do a- Let's do a dark blue shade to match the room, and let's give her a very cute little tent thing. All right, I hope that's usable. <laughs> and last but not least, a baby potty. A baby, baby potty. So let's get you potty trained, my love. Let's get you potty trained. Ren needs to invite over her director and co-star. She needs to develop a friendship with her director. Okay, I guess we should just do that then really quickly. I'm gonna put this in the inventory, get it out of the way. Actually, shoot. We might need it. We might need it for the next baby, so I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> okay, is this director or is this co-star? I don't know, but let's hit him with the polite intro. Co-star, okay. You can leave. I need the director, not a co-star. Hey, sir. Loario? Oh my God, I don't even know. Uh, primetime TV director. Okay, this is him. This is him. Well, I mean, we already developed a friendship with him, so does that count? 25% done? Okay. I really like this guy's style. Research flirty emotion. Get in a flirty emotion and perform romantic interactions. Should we get romantic with our freaking director? That sounds like a bad idea, but it's something that we need to do. Oh, do we have any flirty berries? I think she needs to be flirty to be able to research the emotion. We do! Okay, eat that. Eat it so we can get flirty, and then we need to do some romance with... I don't know who that is, but he's feeling flirty. Maybe we can just be flirty with him. Who are you? Reese? He's an elder. That means he's gonna die soon. I suppose we can get romantic with him. Did you eat the berry, Ren? Oh, there she goes, there she goes, there she goes. Okay. Research flirty emotion. 50% done. Ask for skate question. Let's just get this done. This is a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot. Complete! Okay, we are going to kill our job. 
kill our job tomorrow in the best way. Stella, what trimester are you in? Oh my gosh, question mark, question mark, question mark. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, how's that potty skill? Still one? Are you kidding me? Okay, you gotta keep going. I'm sorry, love, but you just gotta keep going. The house is very quiet. Too quiet, if you know what I mean. Oh my gosh, look at that. 96% of his parenting skill. We're about to max it. No, 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 no sleeps, no sleeps. Potty train Marnie, let's get that up. Let's go. What about you, Stella? How's your parenting skill? Eight, not as good as Charlie, but that's fine, that's fine. I'll give you a pass. <laughs> Charles, I am so proud. Super efficient baby care. Um, full parent mode. Yes. Very good boy. Just fantastic. Oh yeah, we need to get Stella up and we need to figure out how to make that potion of rejuvenation and try to give it to Charlie and see what exactly happens when do you have work next four hours shoot all right well we'll have to wait until you get home from work okay and then zoe does when do you six hours okay okay i think this might be your final exam last day of class it is okay uh so what do i do about this presentation stuff presentations may only be submitted on weekdays between 8 a.m and 4 30. okay can we do one today i wonder we have class from 11 to 12 25 so i think we'll be able to yay leslie's now video gaming level six that was so fast holy cow oh ren you super selling i'm trying to it's not working stella's off to work ren is also off to work fool no why does she always want to freaking go to sleep ren go to work why do you do this where are you? Oh my gosh, Ren, you're killing me. Are you going? Thank you, Ren, my goodness. It looks like Marnie is like this close to maxing her potty skill. This close. <laughs> I'm gonna get her to keep working on that. Charlie, what are you doing? Cooking, all right. You could do whatever you want, really. When do you have school? Two hours. Okay, I need to keep an eye on her to make sure that she actually goes. Oh, 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 hold on a second. There was so much going on at once. Bro, too many pop-ups. Holy crap. Stella's in the middle of creating a flower arrangement when the telephone rings. Turns out it's a wedding planner. Nothing out of the ordinary in this line of work. That is, until they mention that they need Stella to sign a non-disclosure agreement before they can continue this conversation. It isn't every day that a mysterious contract comes along when you're working as a florist, but Stella could... But can Stella trust herself to keep her mouth shut? Sign the NDA, she will gain fame and money. Why wouldn't I do that? There's like no negatives there. The wedding planner provided Stella with the full details. A celebrity actor is getting married and of course his upcoming wedding is the talk of the town. They're even creating a reality TV show documenting his whirlwind romance. In fact, there's a TV crew outside Stella's shop ready to film right now. On today's episode, the actor will stage a fight with his fiance after accusing her of flirting with Stella. <gasps> While they pick out the floor arrangements for their wedding. <gasps> She's pregnant during all of this too. Oh my goodness, that is so fun. Okay, Zoe, I'm gonna need you to be on time today, okay? I'm gonna need you to just like come out here be ready to go to class without any distractions, please. Go, go to school, go to class, go. Thank you, oh my goodness. Okay, okay, uh, attend class normally. She's taking her exam, very good. What do you need, Bean? Ew, disgusting, you've almost done it though. Oh, have you done it? Hold on, so much is going on right now. Bruce got an excellence bunny. Oh my gosh, good boy. Okay, yes, Marnie is now potty level three. Fantastic, okay. You do need some food though. So are you gonna do draw with llama? No, no, no. Charlie's cooking, so that that that's fine. Just come over here and wait for him to be done so you can grab some. Whew, everyone is gone. That is crazy. Hi friend, are you having a good day? Oh my gosh, cute. Yes, I got an excellence bunny. Are you proud? Who's calling Leslie? We are going to enjoy the water park today. Oh, 
I'm in school or, or else I totally would. It's just Bruce and the baby. I mean, Charlie and the baby. Oh my gosh. How many times have I called him Bruce? Probably so many. And I bet you guys are really annoyed. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? There's just too many sims to take take care of. Oh, what was that? Zoe turned in her homework confidently. Uh, that kind of effort will surely help her get a good grade. Okay. Good. You need a potion of plentiful needs very badly, so let's get that going. And when do you have class next? Oh, we should probably we should probably do a presentation. Can we? Yes, we can. Okay, let's go. That's a cute outfit for a presentation, I have to say. So good luck. Yes, yeah, Stella's in labor and she was at work as well again. Oh no, she's home. She's home. <gasps> okay. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go have the baby. Time to have the babes. And Charlie is freaking out. We got our ghost doctor here. Love it. Very good. All right. I am so nervous to see what it is. I'm taking bets what do you guys think i'm scared i'm scared i'm scared charlie what are you doing why are you napping come over here i need you to give stella some some moral support this is her eighth or ninth baby oh my gosh hold on <laughs> uh okay one two three four five six no this is not her sixth it's a girl! Oh my gosh, she's popping out all the girls. Holy crap. Okay. Zoe, Felix, Luna, Leslie, Bruce, Marnie. Oh my god, this is her seventh. Why did I feel like she had more than that? Oh, I don't think we're gonna get it. We need three more babies before Charlie dies. And it's so risky because woohooing with Charlie, like that there's a big chance that he'll die from overexertion. Exer oh gosh. Okay, this baby's gonna be named Ophelia. I am obsessed with this name. I think it's beautiful. Pan's Labyrinth is one of my favorite movies. You don't have to freak out, Charlie. This is, She's done this seven times. Another baby for the books, y'all. Let's go. Oh Why are you still freaking out? Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. You are something else. Do you know how frustrated I'm going to be if we don't get the 10 babies? Maybe we should move out Bruce and Leslie. Oh, I really don't want to, but it's like, what else are we gonna do, you know? Okay, I've decided. Once Bruce maxes his acting skill, we're going to move him out. And then once once Leslie maxes her video gaming skill, we're going to move her out. Okay. Come over here and practice your acting, sir. And Leslie, what's wrong? Time to wear black from having a mood swing. Okay, where are you? Charlie, I'm going to need you to come over here and talk through mood swing, please. Look at Marnie. She's like, a new baby. Oh my gosh, a new baby. What are you stressed from? Stuck in the middle from appearing on reality TV. You're fine. You're good. I need to get Marnie one of those babbling bear things. <gasps> no! How was I supposed to... <laughs> How was I supposed to give two presentations in one day? <sighs> Definitely not as bad as before, but still not great. Barnacles. Okay, so how many do we need left? Seven out of 12? Ugh, so two more semesters. We might as well do a two and three. Yeah, five classes to graduate. Okay, let's do three this time and then her last semester can be chill with just two classes. At home, 20 bucks, nice, very good. Pay with household funds, okay. Three classes, definitely better than four. Okay, how are you feeling? Are you still going through it? 
is he helping you? Make fun of noobs with her. And then let's get her to play video games. I cannot believe how much stuff is happening in this house right now. I get a pop-up like every two seconds and there's just so many sims and so much mess and so much chaos. Okay, uh, Stella, let's go ahead and go to the magic realm. I need to purchase some, uh, some things. Let's bring Zoe because why not? So technically with Zoe, we can give her this potion and we can also give her a potion of youth according to the rules. So, oh wait, is this that one girl that I like really wanted to get to know? Elizabeth For Foreigner? Is that her? Hold on, Zoe. Let me check your clubs really quick. Let's ask her if she wants to be in it. Because I do want to start using this club at some point when things aren't so crazy. Um, invite to Conjuring Club. She's so, so, so cute. Are you kidding? I'd love to join Conjuring Club. Fantastic! I'm happy to hear it. Okay. So, Stella, let's... What do you? Where'd you get that clay from? Oh my god, the return of the clay. Return of the clay. Return of the clay. All right, so we need... What was it? I'm gonna have to open the spell book again because I can't remember. Uh, valerian root, alabaster, and lemon. Valerian root, alabaster, and lemon. Lemon. Valerian root. I'm guessing alabaster. Maybe we should get more than one. Ah, here we go. Alabaster, let's grab a few. Okay, let's go home, make the potion, give it to Charlie. I don't really know what that's gonna do for an elder. I guess we'll find out. The reason why I wanna max Bruce and Leslie's skills before I move them out is because since they're so far into their skill already, it would be such a waste to move them out and not max it and not get the like the legacy point for that. I hope that makes sense. His bar isn't filled up. Should we wait until it's filled up to give it a shot? You know what we could do as well? We could give Charlie that potion. Um, which one is it? Prompt resurrection. We don't know it though. Crap. That's that potion where you give it to a sim and if they die, they will like resurrect automatically. It's like life insurance kind of. <laughs> um. So we can woohoo without having to worry about him dying. Oh my gosh, look at all of her homeworks on the ground. Zoe, 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 why don't you just put it in your inventory? I don't understand. Did you get promoted, Ren? Like, how did it go? <gasps> Excellent. Okay, your bar's almost full. Let's find you another gig. All right, guitar level five. Oh my God, I don't, have we maxed guitar? I don't think we have. We're gonna have to go with this one detective law i'm gonna get uh bruce the night owl trait uh just so that his skills go up a little bit faster and then let's get you to practice your acting some more okay zoe i'm gonna give you your potion of youth right now because i really don't want to forget i would seriously kick myself if i forgot <laughs> it's definitely something that i would do so let's see where is it here we go Let's grab that, drank it. I'm gonna watch you drink it because you are very well known to just ignore me. There, drink it, drink it down. Come on, love, come on, come on. Okay, she did it, she did it. 24 more days of young adulthood, fantastic. All right, how's that skill coming along, Bruce? Very good, you are 21% into your level nine. Leslie? Level seven, not bad, not bad. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do before we end this episode is go over to Felix's house and see what exactly... I know that they were having twin boys, but I wanna know like what their names are. I also wanna see if they aged up into a toddler. So let's head over there. I'm gonna take Charlie and Stella. Also wanna see if Kay is pregnant again. All right, where are the bouncing baby boys? Hmm, where are they? Where are my grandkids? There they are! Oh my god, they can't even get to them. Okay, so we got William and Colby. Okay, that's actually very, very cute. William and Colby. I'm gonna move them though because like, I don't see how you can get to them. All right, Stella, you come say, say hello to this babes. Bottle feed, Charlie, you come take care of this babes. Come on, come meet your grandchildren. 
Look at her. She just had her own baby, but she's here with her grandkids. I swear this family. Let's have a look and see if Kay's pregnant. She's not. I would really like her to be, please. <laughs> Hello, William. Billy for short, for sure. I'm so surprised that I'm like satisfied with the names. I don't even have to change them. Who made you a microwave pastry? Did Kay? Oh, that's actually really sweet. So how's motherhood been? Why are you talking about being non-committal? Knock, knock joke about being non-committal. Okay. Where even is Felix at? Is he broken? Did he go to work? That fool dipped out. That's very rude. Ah, all right. Well, let's head home. I just wanted to meet the babies. Felix isn't even here, so can't spend time with him. So I think I'm gonna leave it right here. In the next episode, we are going to move out Bruce, move out Leslie. Okay. If we move out Bruce and move out Leslie, hopefully, fingers crossed, Stella will have twins. I'm gonna give Charlie the fertile trait and I'm also gonna put the fertile lot trait on the house. Can I change the lot traits? I'm not 100% sure, I'll have to double check, but if I can, I'll change the lot trait. I have been changing the lot trait, so I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. Oh, okay, and then we're gonna celebrate Christmas Eve, probably have, I'm gonna do it my style and do the party on Winterfest Eve and then the next day on Christmas just I don't know it can be like pretty low-key what else is gonna happen in the next episode oh wait Sola did you make that potion did it work oh it's probably still in the cauldron huh oh there's multiple well that's pretty handy isn't it how many did you get from that five Cool, cool, cool. So I'm gonna wait until Charlie's bar is like really, really full. Okay, what else is gonna happen in the next episode? We're gonna age up uh, Ophelia and... Oh, there's another talent showcase on Friday. Okay, fantastic, we can do that one instead. All right, cool. And then we have, whose birthday's next? Marnie's birthday. Okay, all right, we are, we are well on our way to 10 kids but yeah this generation's coming to a close and i can't even believe it i hope you guys liked all the makeovers we did today i hope that you guys like ophelia's name <laughs> i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video which is most likely going to be mystical motherhood leave me a comment and let me know what you think and i will see you guys then i love you so much bye